Hello good dear viewers, still on coordinate geometry, here is our problem for today. The line FG is a diameter of a cycle centered C, where F and G are negative 2,5 and 2,9 respectively. The line L passes through the center and is perpendicular to the line FG. We are asked to find the equation of the line L. Alright, let's get started. Suppose we have a cycle like this. And it happens that this is the diameter of that cycle, which has the points F and G. Remember the coordinate of F is negative 2,5 and that of G is 2,9. So we have negative 2,5 here and we have 2,9 the other side. If this is the center of this cycle, according to the question, another line passes through the center of this cycle and the line is perpendicular to the line FG. What you should remember is that any line that is perpendicular to the line FG must intersect it at right angle, right? So now let's assume we have a line that passes through the center. It must intersect this line at right angle, forming a 90 degrees. So what do you know about two perpendicular lines? Their respective slopes or gradients are just the negative reciprocal of each other, right? So now let us find the slope or gradient of the line FG. So slope of FG, which is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1, right? So let us assume 9 here is our Y2. So we have 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 divided by x2 which is 2 right here minus minus 2 right so we have 2 minus minus 2 if you simplify this you are going to obtain the gradient of the line fg so this is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4 2 minus minus 2 is 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 simplify this you're going to obtain 1 and hence the slope of the line FG is 1. So what about the slope of the line L? We say that they are just the negative reciprocal of each other. What is the reciprocal of 1 is still 1 and negative of the reciprocal will be negative 1. So how can we obtain the equation of the line L? It is just what Y minus Y1 equal to m which is the slope of the line multiplied by x minus x1 in point slope form so what is y1 and what is x1 x1 and y1 is just a point on the line l so can we obtain any point on the line the only point we have is the center because the line passes through the center so how can we obtain the coordinate of the center by taking the midpoint of the line fg so the coordinate of the center will be what? For x coordinate, we add the axis together and divide by 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, divide by 2 is 0. Therefore, x coordinate at the center is 0. Then y coordinate will be 5 plus 9, which is 14, divided by 2 is 7. Therefore, the center is what? At 0, 7. So we say that at the center, where the line L1 passes through, we have the coordinate 0, 0,7. Remember that this is our center. So we can just substitute this 0, 0,7 into this equation to form our equation. So we have y minus y1, which is 7. This is equal to m, which is negative 1, multiplied by x minus 0. Simplify and get the equation. We have y minus 7 equal to x minus 0 is still x. And x times negative 1 is negative x. Take negative 7 to the other side. We have y equal to negative x plus 7. And hence, this is the equation of that line L, which is perpendicular to the diameter. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.